We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. So you've seen the movies, maybe on Mythbusters, where people try and move a bullet into place downrange via whipping the, the gun side to side or stuff like that. At MDT, we have a pretty good understanding of ballistics and we're gonna go and take that and apply it downrange here with a 22 and see if we can bend bullets around corners. We've set up some pipe downrange and we're gonna see how much we can ricochet a bullet through a pipe to get around a corner. Because we've never done this before, we have no idea what strength of pipe we need. We've kept with poly pipe, just probably keep it a little more, a little safer. So if it does blow at the back, it's not a big deal. Uh, we have three different strengths, actually four different strengths of pipe to try out. And if we can start bending it around corners, we'll start adding more pieces on and see if we can bend it around another corner. Uh, we've got a piece of pipe currently at 22 degree first off that is zip tied to a sawhorse and then a piece of steel at the other end of it to show us where it actually impacts. And we're gonna start with that and then kind of work our way up from there. I'm gonna aim for like the inside edge of the pipe. Did it hit? That hit. Oh yeah, you can see the, you can see the strikes. It's pretty easy. Let's go add some more pipe and see what happens. Okay, so we put on a, uh, a 45 degree piece of pipe. Um, so we'll see what we can do. I think it might have went through. Yeah, I shot a hole through the back corner here. So I think maybe I'm on too much of an angle, so I'm gonna kind of line, eyeball it up on where I think I need to have the gun at to hit like the inside edge of this to kind of skirt the edge, I guess. I don't know, we'll see what happens. No, I'm just blowing through it. Okay, so we started with standard velocity SK rifle match, which is like probably around 1,050 feet per second. I have some CCI, uh, what are they called? CCI quiets or quiet 22s. This is uh, a 40 gram bullet as well, but it says it's going like around 710 feet per second. So quite a bit slower. Do a quick zero with this stuff and then see if this makes a difference or not. I think it went through as well. Yeah, I think it went through. Now we're gonna go to, uh, I guess they call it a schedule 15. I don't really know what it's used for, I'm not a plumber. They just told me it was stronger. So we're gonna try it and see if it makes a difference. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can do it again. Oh, something busted. <laughs> it like blew right up. It's, they say it's stronger, but I guess it's more fragile in some ways. The guy at the plumbing store said this is the strongest stuff. So, but in plastic. I guess if this doesn't work, we'll go buy some metal. That was pretty good. Obviously that was much better. Went five for five using the low velocity CCI. So we'll uh, see what it looks like, repaint. Uh, we got a 90 degree of this stuff. So let's see if we can get it around a 90 degree corner. How the hell am I gonna shoot this? Well, <laughs> It's a high risk shot. We got a camera down there. It's pointed directly at me. It might make it out the other side. I honestly don't know. I, I don't know where that went. Yeah, it's just hitting it. I think I got to change the angle and possibly move the target so that I can get more of a right angle to it. We changed the angle of our target because we couldn't get enough of an angle on it from where we are in the shooting area here. We've also moved the target quite a bit closer. From what we could see or hear, it sounded like it was ricocheting off the inside and not going where we expected it to. So hopefully this is a big enough target to show that. That hit? I'll send another one. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We're going to go see if we can tell what kind of ricochets we're getting. Or if it is ricocheting or what's going on. It sounded kind of odd the way where it was hitting, so we're not sure though. If you take a look through here, you see where the impacts are. And then if you look through here, you can see it's coming up and out high. Definitely seems to be bending it around the corner. So, but not consistently. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that was four for four. To make it work, we ended up having to kind of actually go a little more than 90, just a little bit past 90 compared to where we are at the target. So I was able to kind of aim at the closer edge to us or the outside edge, but closer to us. And that seemed to kind of kick it around. It's actually like printed a group. <laughs> okay, so we were able to squeeze it through a 90 degree here. Um, let's go see if we can squeeze it a 90 degree back or back the other way again. 
Did that work? I think it worked. <laughs> that was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, marks right there. I think the well, it's actually, it looks like it broke up. You can kind of see there's marks over there and over there. We freshly painted this. That definitely worked that time. Okay, we got to work. <laughs> so obviously shooting around corners or through pipes is nothing practical about it at all. Uh, we were just out here having some fun, seeing if it was even possible because the idea came up. So, you know, get out and shoot, try some new stuff, um, and but just make sure you're being safe about it. So we're, we're just cleaning up and you actually, we actually found the uh, lead jackets or the lead from the 22 bullets. It's actually not jackets, they're just solid lead. Um, flattened out from going through the pipe and hitting the target. Pretty cool. 